You know, in life, life is filled with a bunch of fears. Sometimes you're afraid of insects, doing your own thing, moving away, walking up to that girl or guy, being honest with yourself. These are all things that us as humans tend to be afraid of. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. One of my biggest fears was taking a chance, taking a risk. I decided I'm not gonna be that way anymore. So you know what I did? I decided to start driving truck, right? So your boy is officially a truck driver now. What's good YouTube? Jabal back with Abdul Aesthetics. I always like to say that today is a very special day. That's a form of positive affirmation. Whenever I make a video, I always say, date back years ago, I always say today is a very special day. It's a positive affirmation that I give to myself on a daily basis to make sure that I know subconsciously and consciously that no matter what goes on, no matter what happens, as long as I believe I'm gonna have a great day, I can always see the positives and whatever happens, even if it is a fucked up day. Tomorrow, I go back over the road. I got this new Galaxy Watch, this is raw. Look at that, look at that. Back off topic. I did my first solo stint with the company that I'm with right now. It's a really good company. Operator, I went through the training process with the company. I went through the CDL program with the company and now I officially work for them. And I will be working for them for the next, let's well say 12 months. In the beginning I was talking about fear and this was definitely one of the things that I struggled with believing I could do. One fear that a lot of people have is the fear of doubt. You doubt that you could do what you set your mind to bars you doubt that you can really become better than what you really are a lot of us weren't conditioned to believe that we're great but we are individually great people you know what I'm saying you can literally do whatever you want as long as you don't try to jump off a 30-story building and think that you're Superman as long as you don't do no shit like that you're good you could literally do anything other than that shit I'm sure with the right equipment you could do that shit. so this is where I stay at man this is the truck I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the inside and the outside I'm gonna go over like some stuff that I I do while I'm out on the road and things of that nature I'm gonna be vlogging a lot of my encounters with different cities and states and stuff like that so without further ado let's get to this inside of the truck thing so let's start with the obvious uh, don't mind the shoes and stuff like that there's my car out there but this is the control center man this is where all the fun happens and things of that nature I got the curtains up because I had to close them because I don't want nobody looking up in here while I'm gone but uh, you know there's a digital dash is a great truck man this truck literally drives itself like it has cruise control and all that shit. if you steer it right it literally will drive itself this is my control panel where i log in all my hours and it's like a gps that tells me what i need to do and stuff like that i'm actually for some strange reason the screen went black so i pulled the cord in the back bars and now i'm resetting this right now of course you got your dash you got your trailer brakes your tractor brakes and stuff like that, passenger seat and all that good stuff. This is just all typical stuff. But let's get to the real stuff. So this is the sleeper. Pretty decent size. You would have to be a big mother not be able to fit in there. And I'm a big dude. But uh, yeah, this is the sleeper, man. It's real cool. If you come back here, you got your light. It's a, uh oh, oh yeah, I did turn off the light. So I'm resetting that. And it's a control box right down there. So I guess it shuts this off too. Maybe, it, does it shut this off? Yep, shuts that off too. That's fine. Anyway, right back here is like, you know, you got your, you got your uh, AC heater controls. It's a little vent right here. It's another vent up there. You can't see it from right here. You probably can, let me see. Right there, that's where the vent is. And, these control those there's actually a few buttons that control them up front too so if I press the sleeper dome so let me see right there right there come on right there it says dome light if I press that or press up there it turns off most of it but if I turn it back on and if I press right here where it says sleeper dome oh wait let me if I press right here where it says sleeper dome it turns off all the lights because that basically, you let the truck know, hey, I'm about to go to sleep, turn all these goddamn lights off. Let's go turn them all back on though. And ambient, okay? You got your drawers and stuff right here. You got your drawers, open 
shooting this bad boy. Got my air fryer, which I'm glad I'm here. I'm gonna clean this out. Got some detergent back there, you know. Got some plastic forks and stuff back there. Uh, some plastic forks. I got my, you know, when you're on the road, man, you gotta stay fresh. So I got a little fresh scent booster for my clothes. I actually need to rewash these sheets. And, you know, and just typical laundry stuff. Dry sheets up here. I got my seasonings. I think it's a bag of ketchup packets. One thing that if you if you think about going over the road, don't be ashamed when you get like takeout food or something. Don't be ashamed of taking the extra condiments. You never know when you'll need extra condiments, right? So you take that, you'll be alright. And right, somebody just sent me a text. Let's see. Shelby, what'd she say? Can't really see it. It's too shiny. Anyway, so I got my lotion, my lotion, my cleaning supplies, deodorant, you know, hair stuff, lotion, like I said, for the third time, shampoo, soap, stuff like that. Just had to send a text message through this watch. Hey, this watch is amazing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna do like a little tutorial on this, because this is, I don't know why I never got this before. This is like, this is the Samsung Galaxy Active 3. Um, it's like the best one on the market, but it's, I mean, to the main screen yeah this 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 watch is the she's naive but i got my little microwave right here you know i keep the uh little microwave plate because it's glass my over the road trainer actually taught me this little trick a good rule of thumb would be to keep the plastic wrap that the plate came in uh and keep it in there when you're driving this is really loose because this is such a cheap microwave it's very cheap but it's very effective um when you hit a bump, it's like the plate tends to jump up, and you don't want to hit a bump big enough to where the plate jumps, comes down, crashing down, and now you got to clean out glass out this. Shit. And I'm gonna tell you, if it breaks, you might as well just buy a new one, cause ain't no way. So, you know the most important part: got the fridge with the mini freezer. Um, it's empty right now because ah, this truck's just been sitting here for three days, um, and it's gonna be sitting here till tomorrow morning. But uh, you know, mini fridge. Uh, it's a decent size. This is actually the same size fridge that my over-the-road trainer had. Since it's just me inside the truck, it's very, very convenient. I had to turn it off and take everything out. And, uh, you know, the good thing about it is they got some straps on the top. These right here, this one and that one right there. The straps, they keep it in place because this bad boy will move. Shelby's calling me. Hello? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Are you riding with me or are you somewhere else? I'm riding with you where you at. Great refrigerator, great price. If the fridge was 150, the microwave was 50, the air fryer was about 59, so about 60. All in all, about 260 bucks, 275 with tax. Up here is where I keep like my spare clothes. See, I got some socks. I got two gym bags worth of stuff. Uh, I keep like my spare, you know, clothes and towels and stuff. I, I got my mini fan right here when it gets a little warm. I got my big fan down here when it gets out of control hot. You got these little vents. You open the vents like when I'm, when I'm getting loaded, I usually come back here and maybe turn on the AC a little and then open one of these vents or both of them, you know, to get a little bit of air in. Cause sometimes the people that load you, man they take they oh my god they take hours you know and, and it'd be crazy because like you'll pull up and it'll be you and one other guy and they'll be like yeah just go ahead pull in the door 13. you be like all right yeah i'll pull in the door 13. you wait and 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 then you get that red light see in the truck driving world when you back up to a dock nine times out of ten they're gonna have a red and a green light the green light's gonna be flashing before you get there and once you back up you stay there until you get the red light then the green light again but sometimes it just takes oh my god they take forever so that's the inside of the truck i keep my laptop in here too but that's pretty much it you can close this right here so when you want your privacy or whatever and they got like these curtains right here that I'm gonna reclose right now because I'm about to get out of here. I'm gonna plug up this PC and then I'm gonna give you a tour of the outside of the truck and then we're gonna get out of here. So, I cut this bad boy back on. You see it says starting windows right there. Yeah, this is a Windows PC device, so. That's actually a good thing because the lady told me if this didn't cut back on, I'd have to do paper logs. Fuck that. 
bit so it cut back on so we are good to go for tomorrow i got all my hours everything is up to snuff go over here check the co-pilot which is the gps it's you know showing that i'm still here mail nothing yet so we're good now we outside let's go ahead and take a trip around the truck let me see that this is the front of the truck you know what i'm saying obviously it's a freight liner it's a cascadia it's a 2022 this is a great truck um damn Cigarette butt. See, that's one thing. Don't smoke, man. Smoking is for jokers. That was whack. Anyway, so this is the machine that I be operating my trailer number. All of this good stuff. I got my connections and whatnot. You know, this is this is where I do my pre-trip. We walk to the back and we check things out. Uh, this trailer is. You can hear this trailer is empty as hell. Come to the back, double check things, make sure everything's working. This is what I haul. Sometimes I got a light load, sometimes I got a heavy load. Sometimes I'm gonna have a load as light as 10,000. Sometimes I'm gonna have one as heavy as 45,000. You just never know, man. The outside of the truck is a little less interesting than the inside of the truck, I'll tell you that shit. So yeah, that's pretty much how we coming. 2021, you know, I've been wanting to be a truck driver for a while, mainly just because of the money and the freedom that comes along with being a truck driver. But working jobs like FedEx and shit like that, it's just not cool. What are you looking at, bro? You wanna get in the video? Then keep driving. I've made it clear that I hated working at FedEx thousands of times and you know this is just this is just not like that you know what I'm saying like it's real cool to go to different places and see different you know city states and experience different things that you you know you knew was possible but you never really had an excuse to do it other than hey let me just go but uh yeah so like I always say man hope you enjoy this video I know it's kind of Jesus Christ he curbed the about that hope you enjoyed this video more videos to come make sure you like share comment subscribe and until next time deuce like look at this look at this look at it